Okay, today we are going to take out some stitches. So this patient has three stitches. We've already verified our patient. We've had the doctor come and verify that the stitches are ready to come out. The wound has actually started to go ahead and close. So we are good to take the stitches out. Our patient has three stitches today. So Kylie here's gonna put on her gloves. It's, it's cause it's humid in here, yeah. I think. So we're gonna open up a new package. These are called suture removal kits. And I'll show you the front. They just look like this. They are single use. So you just throw these in the sharps container whenever you're finished. So go ahead and set your gauze over here. We're gonna use the gauze just to set our stitches on, just to count to make sure that the same amount of stitches that we put in come back out of the patient. So on these scissors here, they have a little loop under here, as you can see. This is to get up underneath the stitch to make the cut a lot easier. And this also is a blunted tip scissor end. So that way, whenever we're going into the patient, we're not gonna cut them. This part is sharp right here, but neither of these parts are sharp. It's harder than it looks. Sometimes it's hard to get up under there. Oh, did it break? Yeah. Just do the other one. That's okay. It went through the skin on the fake skin. That's okay. There you go. Perfect. Here, let me see if I can get this last one. Was it tripping? It came through. See? Mm hmm Maybe. This is not what we would do, but I can't get it out. I'm just gonna have to untie it later. That's okay. We'll pretend we got three out. Then what we would do afterwards, we might clean the patient up because normally there's some like crusties and just where it was healing that extra skin. We might take an alcohol swab or ask our doctor or a provider what they want us to clean it with. Um, they might even want a bandage afterwards, okay?